All right, it's time to take a look at our weather. Don, what's it looking like? I've got some travel plans for this weekend. I'd kind of like to know what to expect. Well, if you're heading southern Ohio as well as the rest of the state of Ohio, it looks very nice. Heat and humidity builds in. It's July. You learn to expect it. But I'll tell you what, it could be a lot worse this time of the year. We could be talking major snowstorms. But we're not. No, 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 we're not. Don Keating here with Ohio Weather and NCT TV. Did you have any doubt that spring was here? Well, technically it's not. And old man Winter has reared his ugly head. And as we are in the midst of a heavy snow shower this Wednesday afternoon in Newcomerstown, is it going to remain this way? Is spring around the corner, or do we have more winter weather to come? Now across the area of Tusco TV land, daytime highs are range from the upper 60s into the lower 70s, with a chance of showers and thunderstorm activity across the Tusco TV viewing area. Don Keating here from the Ohio Weather Center. We've got some active weather that has broken out this evening. We thought there would be some strong thunderstorms. Didn't anticipate a tornado warning, but there is a tornado warning in effect. For portions of Fayette and Pickaway County in South Central Ohio, just south of Columbus, this is in effect from 7.24 p.m. until 8 p.m. This storm is moving, according to radar, northeastward at 62 miles per hour. So even if there's not a tornado drop out of this cell, it is going to probably produce some rather gusty winds on the surface because they move that fast. They transport that energy down to the surface and... Uh, that's not a good thing. Your radar and temperatures in motion from this morning to early afternoon shows temperatures in the 70s and 80s. And you can see down here along the front in Kentucky how the precipitation moved from west to east. And that will give us a break because it's to our south. And that's great because we didn't really need the rain too much in some locations. But of course, other locations. You do need the rain. It's been as exceptionally dry as we had that heat wave at the beginning of July and toward the end of June. 